Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vadim Olejnik and I am the strongest calisthenics athlete of the world. And today I will show you full body circle workout for beginners. You have, for example, six exercises that you have to do in a row without any rest between the exercises. You can take a rest only after completing the one circle. So let's start from the first exercise. Each exercise, five up to 10 reps. So the first exercise is jump muscle up. This exercise is actually the best exercise that will activate all your upper body. You have to make muscle up in a one move from the dead hang. When you're going up, you go straight to 90 degree, then you push yourself up, and then again you go down to 90 degree, and then you're going down, you step on the bench, and then again make a jump to be over the bar, okay? Also, it's very important for you to close your fingers when you're grabbing the bar. So, right now I will demonstrate you how it looks. Let's go. So guys, the second exercise is regular knee push-ups. Actually, the push-ups is one of the basic calisthenics exercises that I also include in every trainings because this exercise will make your core stronger, increase the strength of your shoulders, triceps, chest, your lower back. First of all, I want to show you the biggest mistakes of the push-ups. So you, you stay in this position and then you activate only your hands without your upper body. During you doing the push-ups, you have to go down and push yourself up with the whole your body. It's very important. The second mistake, when you're going all the way down and then you're not straightening your hands. The third mistake, you're not going all the way down. For example, you go down to 90 degree and then you push yourself up. Again, you go down to 90 degree and you push yourself up. It's the fourth mistake that your shoulder can't go to the front or to the back. You always have to give your attention that your shoulder has a straight line with your wrist. In this way, you're going down with a straight position, okay? Right now I will demonstrate you how should look your correct push-ups. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. During you doing the push-ups, you have to touch the ground with your core, with your chest and with your chin. If you touch the ground with these three points, it means that you are doing the correct push-ups and try to focus your eye, your look at the front. You breathe in when you're going down. You breathe out when you're pushing up. Breathe in, you're going down. Breathe out, you're pushing up. Okay, my friends, let's move to the third exercise. Okay, my friends, the third exercise is regular squats. Regular squats is also one of the basic calisthenics exercises and the first step to start training your legs is to start from the regular squats. I will demonstrate you mistakes of this exercise and also I will show you the correct form. Firstly, you have to put your feet a little bit wider than the line of your shoulders. Also, try to open your feet outside to not pu put them straight your knees also has to go outside try to not bend your back and try to not put your knees in the front of you so right now i will demonstrate you the correct form Right 
Now please give your attention for the mistakes. The first mistake when you're making the squats and you bend your back like this. Try to hold your back all the time straight. The second mistake, if you're making the squats and your knees going to the front. In this way, hold your upper body weight and your lower body weight go straight to the knees. In this way, after completing the exercise, you can get the pain inside your knees, you can get injured. I totally recommended you to put your knees to the back, never to the front. And the third mistake, your feet has to stay all the time on the ground. If you're making the squats like this, so you are losing your stability, okay? The next mistake, your knees has to follow your feet. So during you doing the squats, you open your feet outside and when you're making the squats, your knee follow your feet. Also try to control yourself during you doing the squats that you are not losing the control of your lower body because sometimes the people doing the squats and these things happens that you put your knees inside. If it's really hard and difficult for you to complete regular squats, you can go to the wall, put your hands to touch the wall open your feet and when you're making the squat just try to focus yourself to not falling back so you're making the squat your hands touching the wall and all the way up again all the way down try to not fall to the back and then you're going all the way up so i hope you get it let's go for the next exercise okay guys the next exercise is regular sitting pull-ups Pull-ups, it's also one of the basic calisthenics exercises that will help you to grow your back muscles, that will improve your strength, your power, your resistance and your full body control. Actually, for sitting pull-up, you can use a regular barbell. You have to grab the bar with a regular grip. You have to close your fingers. You're putting your knees in the front of you. Try to push more from your hands and from your back. Try to not activate a lot of power from your legs. Try to activate most of your power from your hands. You're going up. Try, during you doing the pull-ups, try to put your elbows outside. It's very important because in this way you will activate more your back muscles, okay? Your chin has to cross the bar and you go all the way down to the dead hang okay so elbow outside your chin crossing the bar and you're going all the way down to the dead hang so my friends the next exercise is laying leg races it's beginner exercise that I totally recommended you to include in your trainings to make your core muscles stronger. You have to be complete athlete and you have to activate each part of your muscles with the body weight routines. You have to lay down on the ground. You have to put your hands under your back and then you're making a races with the straight legs to the 90 degree. Then you're going down but not touching the ground, okay? 90 degree, down, 90 degree, down. Try to not bench your knees. Your legs has to be all the time straight. Okay, so it was laying leg races and we are moving to the next one. And the last exercise is jumping rope. Two different types of jumping rope. I will demonstrate you both of them. The hardest one when you're jumping from the one leg to another one. Like this, it's much harder because you have to get the control of your lower body. The next one is the regular jump. If you 
just start with the jumping rope. You have to complete this kind of jumping and then you can move to the more advanced from one leg to another one. Right now we will talk with you about the most popular mistakes during you doing the jumping rope. Okay, so the first mistake is when you make your jump so high, then you're putting the rope so fast and you lose the control of your upper body and your lower body. And it looks like... Like this. <laughs> because you're trying, you're trying to jump so high and to putting the rope so fast. Currently you have to make a little jump and a fast move with the jumping rope to make a correct move of jumping. This is the second mistake. When you're making the, the jumps like this. <laughs> I can't even show you. Yeah. <laughs> so when you make a jump, your knees has to be almost totally straight. You have to bend them just a little bit. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoy it and you're learning something new from me. If you would like to continue your learning journey with me, put your like, comment below and subscribe my channel. See you next.